All right, guys, if you're into military style watches and tritium tubed watches, this is definitely a brand that you're going to have to look at because it's Tracer, which is owned by MB Microtech, which is where the tubes actually come from. I don't know of any other supplier that I'm sure there maybe is somewhere, but pretty much all the tritium tube watches you're going to see out there are MB Microtech supplied tubes. So Tracer is their own brand and there are some great looking watches. I tried to look through their catalog and it's so extensive and then there's so many models that have been discontinued, but all of them look really good and they all seem to present some sort of um, aesthetics that should appeal to most people, whether you're like really into them or not. So like you have this field style, this is actually called their officer. This is the P67. Um, crazy visible, easy to read. Um, let's get into the specs of this one and then we'll talk about the uh, P66 here. But first off, big thanks to a viewer of the channel, a friend of mine, Floridian, who sent in. He's he's always commenting, uh, super involved with the channel and very positive. I really like that. So big thanks, um, Mr. Floridian that doesn't live in Florida, um, for loaning in your two Tracer watches. I appreciate it big time. So obviously this one right here, you guys know I'm a sucker for orange. And with that brilliant pop of orange on the second hand and then the matching orange stripe down the uh, NATO style strap just makes this thing really stand out. It makes it very unique. So, and then in case you didn't notice, the case itself of the PVD coating actually has a little bit of a patina to it. Now that probably comes that way. I doubt Floridian wore it exactly like that. So it's pretty interesting. I think it's really good looking. It gives it a nice vintage vibe, um, but right out of the box. So I think it's a really good looking watch. So specs on this guy, you're looking at a 42 millimeter case and a 49.5 millimeter lug to lug. This is like a, a really good quintessential type case for like a field test or officer type watch. 11 millimeter thick to that flat AR coated sapphire crystal. You can see the visibility on it. It's just wonderful. 22 millimeter lug width. So you're going to be able to strap this thing up with however you want to do it. Um, you know, whether it be NATO straps or a leather strap or whatever you want to do. You can see it's labeled as Swiss made. It's the P67 officer gun, uh, 10 bar water resist. And then of course the MB Microtech H3 illumination. So all of that good stuff. So pretty uh, military-ish, I think, overall, the aesthetics and the whole vibe of it. Now, whether like military uh, personnel actually wear these watches, I don't know. Um, I don't know any personally that wear them, but I could see why they maybe would. You're going to have the low light capabilities on them are going to be superb once you go into total darkness and your eyes actually you know transition to you know the nighttime vision so you can see this on my seven and a quarter wrist you can see the hands the hour and minute hand are like black so you don't really see them you just see the tubes that are on there um i mean i can see them but it might be hard in certain light to you know to be able to pick those up on their own but with the tubes being on there and you can see that the hour one's shorter than the minute one is definitely longer um and then the brilliant uh orange like almost faded orange numbers on the dial and then there's an inner inner ring there that also have the 24 hour printing on there with the brand uh, tracer located in the center there and then when we I'll try to do the illumination on it, but there's actually a couple of tubes right there too, off to the side of the logo. It's pretty cool. Also a date. Um, now, I couldn't find the exact information for the uh, movement that's in this, so I'm not sure if it's an ETA or Ronda. It's probably a Ronda. That's pretty standard, um, and I know there's a ton of them out there, and I've talked about this before, but you have to get that spacing. So, you know, it's not just a regular movement. Um, whatever movement is specced out for these has the center shaft is spaced out so that the handsets have enough room with those micro uh, or those tritium tubes to clear one another. So, um, and, it, and this one here, you can see it a little clearer because of the white handset. 
but you can see it's definitely spaced out more. And then this one has some depth to the dial. This one's going to be a bigger case. This is the P66 the military style watch. This is probably what you're going to see mostly or ones in this fashion. Of course, you have the day date here. This this one, I did find the information. This has a Ronda 517.6 movement in it. Um, and they're honestly, they're pretty affordable movements if you do need to replace them. I've actually done that before on a Luminox. And they're easily accessible through Esslinger. Um, and they're they're easy to work on. And but really, I mean, they do last a long time, and the Ronda ones are actually known to be very, very accurate. So it's a it's an inexpensive movement, but it's a really good quartz movement, if that makes sense. So on this guy, you're looking at a 45 millimeter case. Um, the kit, we'll talk about the case a little bit more, but just the outer part of the case, 45. Lug to lug is a 54. You do have drilled pinholes there, and it is only 12 millimeter thick. That's one good thing about the quartz movements. You're going to be able to keep them a little bit thinner. Flat AR coated sapphire crystal on this guy too, 22 millimeter lug width. This one comes on a really nice rubber strap. It's very, it's flexible, but plenty thick enough. I mean, you're not going to wear this thing out. And I do like that they kept with the uh, same material for the keepers. You guys know I'm a fan of that too, instead of going metal. So this one's going to lend itself to being really comfortable. I think you noticed, or you should have noticed, there's um, some cutouts on the case. And this actually, the, the case feels like metal, but it feels like a metal you're not familiar with. But really what's happening here is it's a stainless steel case inside. And then this outer portion here is some sort of fiber reinforced resin that totally encases it. So it makes it you know more robust, more impact resistant and all that. Now the bezel, you can see it's a... Um, you have you have a timing function here, okay, but you know it's in a you know marked out for you. But you have a, it's a twelve hour bezel, so you can you can do a second time zone or something in this, not a problem. And it's bi directional and it's you know like sixty click, so um, pretty useful bezel really. So um, for however you're going to use it. Now this one has a uh, screw down crown, two hundred meter water resist, day date function. And then the tritium tubes are laid out, you know, in a circular pattern instead of on the officer one, they're, you know, directed toward the center. And then, of course, the hour and minute. Um, I don't see anything on the seconds hand on this one. Sometimes you'll get that, sometimes you won't. Uh, but they should be different colors. And then, of course, you're going to have a tritium tube up here at the 12 o'clock position on the bezel. So uh, let me pop this guy on wrist real quick. So you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, you know, cause a lot of people might not like the 45 millimeter case, but I'm telling you, um, for this style of watch and the weight of it and everything, it's not very heavy because it's mostly resin. Um, it feels and wears and looks great. Very masculine military ish looking. And I know there was, I am not a hundred percent sure, but there must be different colorways other than just the white and black because they had their original entry level model one back when I was really looking at these and they had a ton of different colors. There was like this red and gray blacked out watch that was really cool, I thought. So, um, and I forget the model on that one, but it was very similar to this one. So, all right, let me see if I can capture, I think we have, bear with me guys, bear with me. You know, I don't like to edit, so I'm going to just try to capture let's do a low light and then you can see so you can see the green and then the orange there and then you can definitely see the green there but let's see what we can do with no light now on the officer one you do have uh loomed out indices but you not you don't have that on the um this military style one here. So you can see, hopefully you guys can pick that up right in there maybe. You can see most of them are green and then you have the orange up at the uh, 12 o'clock on the dial and then green on the bezel. And then, oops, sorry about that. Same thing kind of with this one. You have the orange up top and then you have the green everywhere else. Hopefully that picks up. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Floridian for lending these in and I will catch you on the next video.